Hi everyone, this is Stacy in Japan and welcome to my channel if you are joining for the first time. Um, I have been in Japan for the past two years, so I'm now starting my third year and I just wanted to talk as briefly as possible about moving from elementary school, working in elementary school to working in junior high school. Um, when I just came, I was placed in elementary school and I had three schools. It was very, my experience, of course, it was very challenging, very demanding. Um, the schedules were almost always five classes per day. Rarely did I get six classes at any of the schools. There was one school where I only had four classes per day. And that school was in the middle of the week on a Wednesday. And I used that to rest, actually Wednesday and Thursday, because Monday and Tuesday, I would always have five classes. And with elementary school, um, you, you are actually more of the teacher in your class so you are doing everything from start to finish and the break in between was only five minutes so you can just imagine i'm in japan for the first time and i'm thrown into the elementary school system i cannot speak japanese and almost all of the teachers were unable to speak english so it was very challenging um in my first year um, but I pressed on and I, I did my best. Uh, but I, I knew that elementary school was not for me, not because of the workload, but because of the mental drain. Uh, by mental drain, I mean, I didn't feel challenged. I didn't feel like I was learning anything. As a matter of fact, after the first few months, I didn't master the material but it was so simple you basically knew how to manipulate it and you knew what was expected and so there was nothing that that was challenging me psychologically and so that actually messed up my mind a bit um so i knew i did not want to do elementary school in the second year and so i decided i would move on to junior high school um and of course you know before i jumped ship i asked from other um, ALTs. So what's it like in junior high school? And some would say, well, I have to teach for the entire 50 minutes, while another person would say, um, well, I'm just supporting the teacher. And so I went in a little bit apprehensive. Um, but nevertheless, I did. I've already completed one year at junior high school. And so I'm in a better position to actually compare them um, both. And so for my junior high schools, I had two. One was really, really high leveled and the other one was kind of on the lower level. Um, the, the differences were, were quite vast. At the higher level school, it was actually the largest school that I had and second largest in the city that I worked. So that school had about 600 students, while the lower level school, which was also one of the smaller schools, but not the smaller school, about average, had like about 300 students. So I had more time at the school, 300 students, and less time to scratch my head or even think at the school with 600 students. Of course, because that school was so big, I was there most of the times anyway. Um, but one of the things with junior high school is that um, I found there were more teachers who could speak some English and they, they, they just seemed more approachable in, in junior high school. My elementary high school, my elementary, my elementary high school, <laughs> my elementary schools, um, the teachers seemed more strict, stuck up, like to themselves kind of thing. They weren't very approachable unless I actually engage them with their classes uh, but if i didn't have like an english class with a particular teacher it was very difficult to approach them because like in the staff room which i was hardly in because i was really busy at um my elementary schools um it was a little difficult to approach some of them right 
that was one particular school which was like one of the top-notch schools and they were really kind of really stiff like really stiff in that school except for a few you know um so i found it much more integrating at junior high school because that was the other thing in elementary school it's like i was not included in anything um i tried to include myself like i tried to find out what was going on and and so on but it was very difficult i wasn't getting any information um and the the the, the teacher that was in charge in charge of the alt was new so like it was difficult to try and kind of find out you know well, for one school, I keep thinking about this one school. Um, yeah, but the other schools, other two schools, which were not as strict, kind of included me more than the, the main school, which was more strict and, you know, so on. So I find I'm always having these opposing schools, you know, whether large and strict or small and laid back. So I'm always having to be switching my brain kind of thing. So for junior high school, um, I found it and I'm finding it, which is why I'm still at junior high school for a second time and the same schools, matter of fact, I find junior high school to be more, more engaging. It's helping me to actually learn the English language in a formal kind of way with the rules, grammar and so on that as English speakers, we don't really think about, um, sometimes I have many many classes and other times i have no classes whatsoever and i'm just there sitting bored out of my wits and cannot do anything yeah i try to read and you know write and i bring my book and i study japanese and i bring my computer and um but yeah that balance you have to find it for yourself because um nobody's really coming up to you and telling you hey we're going to be having this ceremony or we're going to be having that um at one of my schools the main school you know so what i realized that i have to be kind of more outgoing more um what's that word that word yeah and i i have to be a little bit more aggressive in in finding out okay what's going to happen you know you see the teachers changing from their sweat clothes into suits and or you see the staff room suddenly empty so I try to find out what's going to happen. And um, yeah, it's 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 nice. They actually they actually like to see me in these different settings and they're always telling me thank you afterwards. But like nobody's telling me, hey, would you want to come and so on? And I have a feeling it's because of how the contract is set up because they are not supposed to give you instructions directly. And um, if it's not on your schedule, you basically not supposed to be there kind of thing. So i talk about that in another video. So um, I found it more comforting at junior high school level. Uh, it's, it's challenging me intellectually a little bit where I can get to study the grammar expressions and see how we actually learn. I don't remember, that was high school long time ago. Um, yeah. So please tell me, what is your experience? Which do you prefer? Um, elementary school, junior high school, high school? What levels have you been teaching? I really want to try high school as well, but um, I want to see what being at the school, the same school for a second year, I want to see what that is like. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna do another video on that because this one's getting too long. So thank you for watching. Um, yeah, bye for now from Stacey in Japan. Bye bye.